What's up guys, it's Ron again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now here behind me in the showroom, we've got a slew of different types of gear, different regulators, different VCs. And when you make a decision as a diver on what system works best for you, it needs to be based off practical purposes or in short, it needs to be based off what you need that system for. If you're going to be doing tech diving, you need gear that's set up for tech diving. If you're just going to be traveling and you need lightweight gear, then that's going to be the decision you make. Well, this decision process continues on once you go underwater. And there's a lot of times that you need to make a practical decision underwater on the spur of the moment to make your diving a lot easier. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. I'm actually going to take you out on a recovery dive and show you how I made a practical decision on the spur of the moment to make my diving a little bit easier and a little bit safer as well. So as stated during the intro guys, I'm just going out to do a basic search and recovery here and I'm actually looking for a Bimney top. So the owner has hired me to look for the Bimney top that blew off his houseboat right there. We had a really bad windstorm come in and it just blew his Bimney top off. Um, and you're going to see a decision being made underwater here that somebody's going to say, but man, that thing don't weigh that. Why, why did you have to use a lift bag to bring that up? It was a very simple lift. And this is true. It's very simple. I could have very easily swim this thing up. But because of its shape and because of its size, instead of struggling with it to keep it balanced, and even once I got it to the surface, the actual canvas part of the bimney there, it gets very heavy when it's full of water. So I made a practical decision underwater instead of struggling to swim this guy up to use a lift bag so I just took a hundred pound lift bag with me I'm going to wrap it around the bars and around the bimney itself and to keep it all nice and secure so that I can make a slow safe ascent up to the surface and keep it under control another thing that you'll notice too is once I get it to the surface there's going to be some struggle getting it out of the water so i can you know i can swim with this all day long but as i go to lift it up on the dock it's only going to get heavier as you pull things out of the water the the weight actually changes on they actually get heavier because archimedes principle is not really applied at that point so by using that lift bag it can kind of hold it in place for me now thankfully the owner is going to be here to help me so he can pull up as i'm pushing and things like that but by making that practical decision to use a lift bag even when i didn't need the lift bag it makes it a whole lot easier. Now, I want to talk about a second decision I made here. A lot of people will say, well, you know, shouldn't you take another bottle to inflate these lift bags and, and not waste your air because that's your air that you could be breathing? That's a, just a decision that you got to make. Here I'm in about 10 to 15 foot of water. It's really not that deep. I've got plenty of air on my back. So I just chose to use the air that I'm breathing there. So I took my primary out, uh, put my alternate back in my mouth, and I'm going to use the primary to fill up the bag. Now, I could have very easily used my alternate as well, you know, it's, it's however you want to personally do it. But I'm just going to slowly put air in this bag so that it, it lifts slowly and it doesn't pull me up with it. And then I can reposition it if I need to to kind of keep it stable as I'm going up and to keep it stable at the surface. But as you can see, I'm going to lift it up using the bag versus trying to swim this uh, bimney top up and then once I get to the top I'm gonna get the owner to actually help me get it out of the water and one of the things that you will notice is as we get half the bimney out of the water the water that is trapped in the canvas material itself is going to make it very very difficult to lift so once we get part of it up I'm going to reposition that lift bag yet again and I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the bimney the arms of it, and I'm gonna use the lift bag to lift it up to assist him as well but now that I've got it up here to the surface, I'm going to go ahead and completely fill up my lift bag just so that it's a little bit easier to swim with and it keeps it in that position that I need. Now you can only imagine if I tried to swim this guy up, which I could have done, but if I would used my BC to bring it up or something like that, it would just be not safe to do it that way. And even swimming with it, um, it's very difficult to keep it balanced, swim with it as I'm dragging the, uh, the canvas with it with all the water in. But now that we got it up, I'm going to take it right over to the edge of the dock, and I'm just going to start on one edge, hand it up to the owner. He is going to start to lift on it until we allow some of the water to drain out of the canvas. And like I said, this bimney top is not that heavy in the water, but once you pull it out, it's going to be extremely heavy. And it's not the bars that's making it heavy, it's the canvas material itself because it's got water trapped in it. So as you can see, we're going to lift it up to him. 
and he is going to start to pull it out of the water and then it's going to get really, really heavy. He's going to actually struggle here in a minute and I'm going to ask him to uh, detach the lift bag so that I can put it on the bottom of the arm to assist him. So he's just kind of inchworming it up there on the dock and here's where the heaviness comes in. See all that water trapped in that canvas. This is going to be the sole purpose of this lift bag is to help us at this point. Yes, we could have swam it up underwater, but we can't get it on land without additional help or you know extra pull. So this is where the lift bag is really going to come in handy for us. So once he gets it up and we start draining some of the water out, he's going to hand me that lift bag back. I'm going to go right back down underneath, put the bag up on it, inflate it up just to make it a little bit easier to get it up. So here he's unattaching it. He's going to hand it to me, and i got to get it positioned just right to help drain some of that water out there. So as I attach it back to the bottom here, inflate it back up, you're going to watch this bimney just pop right up out of the water, making it a lot easier for him to lift up. Now that we've got most of the weight held by the lift bag itself, I can help push on it as he pulls. All, every bit of that water is going to drain right out of the canvas and it's going to make it a lot easier for him just to simply lift it up on the dock and then he can simply get it reinstalled. So make practical decisions when you're underwater. Just because you're strong enough or you're man enough or woman enough to do something, make practical decisions. Make it as easy for you as possible when you do this and your recoveries are going to be much more successful. Your dives are going to be more enjoyable. Your dives are going to be a lot more safe too and you're going to be a better diver for it as well. So as you can see guys, I could have very easily swam that bimini top up to the surface, but I made the practical decision to use a lift bag just so that it was kind of hands-free for me. Once I got to the surface, it could kind of just float there and I still had both hands accessible in case I had an emergency, I needed to manipulate my system or something. And it made it a lot easier too to position that bimini top so that we could get it up on top of say the deck or the dock system. So guys, when you're out here diving, make practical decisions. Don't make decisions just because they're popular. Don't make decisions because you know, you've got a new piece of gear you want to try it out. Make sure that you're making practical and safe decisions when you're underwater. And I promise you, not only will you be a much better diver, you'll also be a safer diver as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.